butler wilbur model of electrode kinetics in this lecture we will uh, try to derive a quantitative relationship that how variation in potential affects the net rates and direction of electrode reactions we have discussed in the previous lecture for this purpose now again let's uh, now consider the simplest possible electrode process wherein species o and r engaged in a one electron transfer at the interface without being involved in any other chemical step so we call it one step one electron process now suppose that the standard free energy profile along the reaction coordinate have parabolic like shape so this line blue line is depicting the free energy change at equilibrium condition so the potential of the system at equilibrium is e no dash so the equilibrium potential or the standard electrode potential or the standard cell potential for the system is considered as the reference point as we are taking one electrode and the one electron transfer process uh, so here e not dash is the electrode potential or equilibrium potential and uh, the cathodic and anodic uh, activation energies are shown in red color and now suppose that if the potential is changed by del e to a new value that is the change in potential del e as we know that the free energy change is equal to the nf e and uh, for this case n is 1 for one electron transfer process so del g del g is equal to f e not dash at equilibrium whereas with application of external potential the relative energy change of the electron which is residing on the electrode is changes by, by the factor that is uh, it, it is actually minus so minus del e into f so with application of a uh, new potential value the energy change term the, uh, that is shown by this difference is equal to the minus f into del e uh, as uh, the change in potential is equal to minus f into applied potential minus equilibrium potential so this factor is the change in the free energy of the electron residing on the electrode is equal to this factor so here we have a minus sign hence the curve move up or down depending on the positive or negative potential applied to the system so here one of the uh, potential is uh, selected for uh, 
as positive uh, potential is applied to the electrode so we can see that the energy barrier that was uh, for the equilibrium potential have been narrowed to a fraction of uh, total energy change so in order to uh, get better insight of the shapes of these profiles in detail let's redraw the squared region again so this area have been redrawn here uh, with a new scale so again uh, we see that uh, uh, the new potential that is the positive potential have been applied to the electrode uh, so the barrier for the oxidation at uh, equilibrium potential have been narrowed to a value uh, of delta g, uh, g a that is uh, by a fraction of the total energy change so let's call this fractional change to as uh, 1 minus alpha where alpha is transfer coefficient and the value of uh, this coefficient that is alpha its range in the 0 to unity so here we can see that the this factor is the free energy change with application of the uh, new potential and this factor uh, to which the free energy is changed is 1 minus alpha and there is a change for the cathodic barrier that is alpha as we can see that the uh, cathodic energy barrier after application of the potential is broader than the cathodic barrier at equilibrium potential so depending upon the shape of uh, these two diagram the intersection region uh, gives the value of uh, anodic barrier that is uh, the new energy uh, or the anodic energy after application of the positive potential that have actually uh, narrowed to a value of uh, factor that is 1 minus alpha so the equation for this system will be the anodic barrier uh, at equilibrium potential minus 1 minus alpha from uh, here as we said that the, this energy barrier is broader than this one to a factor of this one in uh, terms of free energy that is expressed in term of uh, potential change from the equilibrium so here we get equation number one for the case of cathodic barrier with application of positive potential is broadened to a factor of alpha f and del e Previously, we have derived uh, the rate expressions uh, that is rate of forward 
uh, reaction uh, that is the uh, forward rate constant that is equal to a constant into exponential term that is gives free energy change for the From the figures, we have derived uh, two equations, uh, one and two, which are showing the uh, in free energy of anodic and cathodic barrier, which uh, have been changed with the uh, factor that is the transfer coefficient. So simply we have uh, equation number one and two, which are showing the uh, change in free energy of anodic and cathodic barriers with application of potential positive potential whereas the uh, equation number three and four are the uh, modified form of uh, forward and backward uh, rate constants which have been derived in the transition state theory uh, that are uh, based on the Arrhenius equation so equation uh, 3 and 4 can be expressed in terms of equation number 1 and 2. So by comparing equation number 1 and uh, uh, 3 we get equation number 5 and uh, for uh, the comparison of uh, equation number 2 and 4 we get equation number 6. Now let's uh, simplify these two equations. Uh, so uh, we have a factor uh, that is equal to Faraday's constant over RT so equation number 5 and 6 are so uh, with simplification we get equation number 7 and 8 so in equation number 7 and 8 we can see that the first two factors uh, uh, that is uh, Arrhenius constant uh, this one and this one and uh, the free energy change at equilibrium potential is a constant value similarly uh, gives free energy change for the anodic barrier at equilibrium potential is also a constant factor so we can say that uh, this factor is equal to the rate constant as this one is uh, for the backward direction so here we have equilibrium rate constant kb naught and uh, for uh, uh, for this one this factor is actually k f naught so we get uh, two uh, expressions for the rate constant that is uh, forward rate constant and the backward rate constant so here the, this constant is uh, forward rate constant at equilibrium and this one is uh, with application of a potential in which alpha is a transfer coefficient and uh, the small f uh, shows the factor faraday constant over rt uh, general gas constant and the temperature these two rate constants have been derived for the one step one electron process so for the multiple electron transfer we need to multiply a factor n here that correspond to number of electron transfer so here we have to multiply with n in next lecture we will use the uh, these rate constants for another case in which the interface uh, is at equilibrium with a solution and we'll try to find out the standard rate uh, constant that is important for the interfacial charge transfer at the 
electrode electrolyte interface thanks for listening